information to the message. Tell him that I must be in Abuja on Thursday night when the castle is open. Mm. Um, your Excellency, can I ask a question? Yes, the governor. What about you? What is his fate? Will he survive? <laughs> in this world we live in, Nothing happens by accident. His Excellency's helicopter did not just fall from the sky, just like that. My being the deputy governor is not also by accident. I was chosen to carry out our planned program. His Excellency, we will pass a new government with this one. Well said. Well said. In that case, I will say. Congratulations, Your Excellency. You. you will make an excellent governor. And you also will make an excellent partner in this Well, I'll be running along. Have a nice day, Your Excellency. Look at how we do that. 
Chief, please. I want to know the secret. What is what? I know the secret of your mind. What have you done to succeed? Where people like you have failed. I have heard thoughts, rumors, and whispered words that our people are afraid to speak of. And that is what I am asking you to let me do. I want to know, Chief, that extra thing that I need to do to have the kind of money you have. The extra thing I would recommend is hard work. Hard work, trust, and reliance on God and His Word. Reliance on the one who says he can take a beggar from the dunghill and sit him right there in the midst of princes. Akaya, there you go again. I know those words. I know those conditions. But I tell you, in life, nothing stands alone. If a blind man is not led across the road, most times he walks into an oncoming bed with his eyes. Why do you? Chief, I'll tell you, I don't know my own eyes. Give me what you know about what you do. I am very, very willing to do anything. Well, I have told you what I know and what I did to make my money. That is it, right? If you have come here to suggest anything as in please, do not come to my house again. Me and my household, we will serve the Almighty living God. Ha! Huh? Everybody! Oh, we'll kiss you when you jump when you just tell you. Ah, everybody. I know you very well. I always do what you need. Have this. Go ahead, take it. Come over to my office tomorrow morning. More of it. But, it was. Alex and by the way knows only God, the one and true living God, Jesus Christ. And I would advise you that you should channel your focus and energy in that direction. And you know what? It is never too late. Come upon God anytime, anywhere. He will always, always answer you. Alright. You go that one in your hand. Um, I'll tell you. Thank you for this much. But I see this is six on the way to sit. I see this is on the way to sit. I want to be like you. What? I want to be like you, Akadia. Hey, you are the new man. Money, right? What else? What more did he say he wanted? Oh. Mm -hmm. Chief, you and I know that that is not totally true. I never had a master leader show him how you made your money. So? But I hope you did not go tell him anything. Listen, you can't go back to your enemies which you took while wanting after the same antelope. Like you think. 
think I am. No, definitely not living in this kind of house and enjoying the kind of wealth that you do right now. So, my dear one, would you be so nice if you invest a little more confidence in me? Sorry, I mean, it's just that I know you too well. Okay, and I know that in your generosity, you can just forget the things that you're not supposed to forget. And you've seen how many times you spend it on so wide in that same generosity, which always ends up putting us in trouble. Be afraid. Who are you? Whatever you are, do not harm me, please. You did not tell him the truth. You lied. But you were right. When you said that I am the one who can take a beggar from a dung hill and sit him among princes. So, what are you looking for in that dung hill when I have separated you? Come out of them. For that where you are in is the place of destruction and perdition. Come out of them and be To... On the phone? <sighs> Never mind. So why are you going to? I thought you had just served your food. Alex. Hey. Alex.
Forgive me, Chief Priest. I would never break those rules if there were not urgencies that need to be addressed. Thank you for forgiving me. I had a visitation just now. If I knew, I would definitely know how to handle it. That's why I come. I have questions. Questions that need answers. I need to know what to do. What what is you? First place has the right to walk the face of the earth. If we do not give it permission, where this spirit took no permission from anybody, it stood there and it spoke words that it had no rights knowing. Forgive me, but do what I like. A friend of mine had come to my place earlier in the day, asking me what I do to make my money. And then he left. I walked into my bedroom, and this figure just stood there. It had no face and no shape. And he told me that I lied to my friend. There is no lie. Only a wrong perception of that which is broken. It also told me to leave the nativity, the place where I am. It said that it is a place of perdition and destruction. A breach, a breach in your defenses. You will have evil spirits to walk into your home and unknowingly you have done something wrong to attract their presence. No spirit can walk this path. If they do, then it is a tear in the fabric of time, space, and dimension. They come in to deceive and to kill. We have the power to send them back to the nethers, the bottomless pit, where they come from. The weight of authority you carry is sufficient to repel those who seek your destruction. Forgive me, Nathan. Far from it that I doubt your words, powers, or your knowledge. But this spirit could teach me. And I went into darkness. But its presence never inspired any form of fear. Oh no. It inspired calmness and peace. Peace like I have never ever felt before. This sin spirits. Lying demons, they cannot give peace. They cannot grant wealth that our master. And he did not permit any spirit to visit you. Go and repair it. Go and repair the breach, the opening from where they entered. You know what to do. Of course. The sacrifice will be arranged immediately. Good. His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, asked me to table his regrets. The President had called for an emergency council of state meeting over the tribal killings in the north, and he just has to be there, knowing that the Governor is in this coast. It is a good thing. The Governor will pass on after the moments of the worship of tomorrow's night. Thank you once again for the audience.
sometimes I wonder whether it is not the same business we are all in. I mean, I have not met anybody for the past two weeks. Everybody says there is a swamp in the building and construction industry. I go to a man who is in the same business with me. He dips his hand in his pocket and carelessly gives me 75,000 naira without thinking about it, without batting an eyelid. The same man turns around and says to me, if the money is not enough, that I should come to his office by tomorrow and he will give me more. Are you not happy that he gave you this money? That is not the issue. I'm happy with at least you have the money you have. Amara, that is not what I am talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. Where is all this money coming from? That's the question. I thought you said you would ask him. Uh, well, I did. The man almost sent me out of his house for his net. That's there's something that he does for the money. He swore that God is behind his money. Now tell me, Amara, what sin have I committed? This same God that I tried so much to worship has bluntly refused to give me money. Maybe you are not worshiping him right. Did I hear you right? Don't I go to church every Sunday and every Tuesday? Don't I go to any money prayers before going to the market on Saturday? Don't I pay my tithes and give for the building fund? So, what is? Is he doing that I am not? What else do you want me to say now? What do we say? Anyway. Whatever like it is they are doing to make all this world, I'll find it out. I'll find out. What? But it gets to me. It gets to me. It baffles me. What? That any time he gives me this money, I don't know what I've done with it. The next moment the money is finished. That goes to suggest that there's something else they do with this money. No, I don't know. I don't know. But at least God is using me to bless us. What are you making? Since you are. I mean, I'm coming. Dad, are you okay? Daddy. Where are you coming from? Chief, you know that ignoring me is not going to solve any matters. So you might want to tell me. What's going on? I went to see the chief priest. What for? I had a visitation when I went up to my room. You were downstairs. A ghost, a spirit, whatever. He came to me and he left me a warning. A warning? Oh yes, that was why you found me asleep. I had no intentions of going to bed at that time. But he came to me and he touched me and then I just passed out. And the next thing I, I woke up and I saw my shoes carefully arranged. That much I can remember. You know, when I was coming upstairs, along the stairway, I actually felt something brush past me. You know, I couldn't tell if it was a human being or, I don't know, 
because I, I didn't see what it was. I was very certain that something had just rushed past me. They told me to leave the nativity. Why? They said that it is a place of perdition and destruction. Why is that? Like I said, I, I asked the chief priest and he said that there has been a breach in the wall of space and time around me and I have to repair it. Hmm. The sacrifice. So have you made the arrangements? Oh yes, I called the boys. Should be on the way. Hey, you be careful, babe. Of course. You know I always will be careful. Always. Let me go take a shower and prepare. Let me know when the boys get here. Okay, but you want something to eat? Uh, I'm still gonna make you food. My head says move against the wind, but my heart says move where the wind blows. How do I make my heart go where my head goes? You have not been given the permission to walk the face of the earth. Neither have I given you the right to walk into my world. Stop manipulating my mind this minute, I beg you. Stop disturbing my peace. For I will call down all the powers of the nativity, and you will be utterly, utterly rich. I am the Lord. Who has instructed me on the foundation of the world? Who can say no when I have said yes? Where can you go to hide from the one who knew you before you were found in the dead? Oh my 
checked the girl to find out who she is. Then she turned around and asked to pass this for a while. And then he left. Okay, you go ahead.
my daughter is safe and alive, wherever she is now. Stop wasting time, let's go! Oh, she had a slide when she's not my daughter. Why are you such a stupid mistake? Let's go, stop wasting time! <laughs> Daddy! Mommy! That's the best boy, stop shooting him! and perdition. What I do not understand, Father, is why me? Why would God choose me? Why, why would he choose a man like me, a man who has his hands stained with so much blood? Why me? After all, I, when he forced me to serve the devil, I choose to do it myself. Why me? Listen, my son. You did that in ignorance. As regarding why you, God's law is not like human law. God knew that sometimes we do not know the right thing or even the right way to pray. That's why we make mistakes here and there. So don't bother yourself, my dear. But why do you want to come to the temple? I told my boys to set her free. Let's say it Nice thing you have done. What am I going to hide you? What am I supposed to do now? I hear voices. Voices in my head. What do I do? My son. All you have to do is to surrender yourself. All and entire. The Never let us win. I 
never. Then please, my dear wife, I do not want to talk about this. My enemies have decided to use my own husband against me. It will not work for you. Alex, by the way, it will not work for you. I promise you, you will not work for you. You. Oh, so Alex, you want to send me back to the village. Your plan is to send me back to the village to poverty. But to fear, I bet you, in this house, you will receive hot water from morning till night every day. It will not work for you. For five people, vegetable salad and pussy. Excuse me, my friend, you know you told me I'm going to be having a friend. But I've heard you. I told you I'll be having five visits in the press. And I want you to be a friend, but I tell you to be a best man. So please, why don't you? Okay, thank you. Good morning, Good morning, sir. Good morning, Yes. I slept like a man. <laughs> because the good law says that he gave his beloved most sleep. Huh? Uh, did anything else happen last night? Not no. But when I was burning the clothes, this force, this force hit me down. And then a voice that said that its inscription is on my heart and not on the clothes. My son, I hope you never expected that the devil would keep quiet after he has left his place. No way. For sure he will be out. And this great action will be very violent. But the word of God tells us that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and casting down imaginations and putting into captivity every thought, notion, or idea that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. My son, what matters here is not really what the devil has done in your life in the past or what he's doing now or what he plans to do in the future. But how much of the knowledge of God do you have that only matters? So what you should do now is to start applying the knowledge of God, my dear. And that's exactly what you do. Oh, then let us go to the child. Tonight, I mean, it's not only just set for times. 
inside himself as a fire of warmth, but he still gave in to his convoluted fur. If he does not accept the proposal of joining the activity tonight, I will have no choice than to remove him. We cannot have somebody from the family of the enemy sitting in the government house of this state. The activity will remain in charge of the state like in any other state in the country. I have the feeling that it will not change. It must not. That I hope he's not ready to rescue him from the arms of darkness when I'm about to block him. That is why I will call him. Oh, sir. I only do feel that I'm hearing about my movement to somebody who Who 
is God but the one we serve? Who is God but the one who has given us the beauty, the wealth, and the power to rule in this world? Who is God but the one who is the son of the morning? Akukaya, who have you allowed to be with you? Who? Nobody has bewitched me, Your Excellency. On the contrary, my wonders have bewitched me. All of you, members of the political team, all of you who engage in demonic sexual urges with little girls, you who engage in spilling innocent blood every other day, you are the ones who have bewitched and confused Chief Alex Ibrahimi. You don't know the truth. If it is more money than you do, you can appeal to the Jesus. You can access the more resources of the family. If it is more power than you do, I do not need any. I appeal to the Jesus to give me an opportunity to talk with you because of the relationship I have with you. And he was magnanimous enough to do it. I would rather that you listen to the voice of reason because you may not have fully comprehended the extent of the power and reach of the Nativity family. It can crush you like the mud underneath the feet of an elephant. Aha, uh -huh. one more thing. His Excellency will be passing on this night. And I will be sworn in as the next executive governor of the state. The first thing I will do is to make sweeping changes in my cabinet. And all the members of the Nativity family will have positions in my government. And I have reserved the position of the Commissioner for Trade and Industries for you. But that is, of course, if you resign on this, your foolish madness. Madam, please advise your husband. Thank you. Have a nice day, Your Excellency. Not a word, Okay, fine. Listen, we have agreed not to fight about this issue. Okay? But let's be reasonable here. His Excellency has said everything. He has told you to start again. If you go back to the nativity, you will remain the commissioner who will be given so much wealth and power than we've ever had. What will it cost for you to accept that? My soul. And it will cost you your soul if you reject it. For Christ's sake, Alex. You of all people know the God that you serve. Do you know the power that the nativity wells? The one who can make and break? Who can kill your body and your soul? Let me be a new sitter. Come after you. He will crush you into powder. Then he will only destroy you. Don't you get it? You see, that is exactly my point. That is what I've been trying to tell you. My dear wife, is that the kind of God you want me to continue serving? Huh? A God who, who destroys. A God who, who delights in lasciviousness and immorality. A God who glories in spilling innocent blood every other day. Monday. Monday to Sunday, you will spill blood. That is all we do. We spill blood. Is that it? Oh, please. Chief Alex, we will no longer be part of that God. No. All the gods are the same. They delight in the same exact thing. What is the difference in the blood of rams, goats, sheep, and that of humans? Blood is blood. 
Do you know what those priests you want to do with those little ones when you're not there? Of course I do. Of course you don't. You serve the God that has taken delight in you and has stressed for this end of friendship, which you so stubbornly are rejecting. Listen. Do not allow the love that he has for you turn into hate. Because with that you cannot stand the wrath of Lucifer. yourself about how you go about the whole thing. If really he is the one who spoke to you, for sure, he will tell you what to do at any point in time. That is from those of men. The Bible tells us that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it ever entered into the hearts of human creatures. What God has in store for his beloved was, what has shown us that from the Spirit? If you will see the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, he will empower you. He will energize you. He will give you photographic memory to remember all of your thoughts. He will stand by you. He will protect you. He will give you a new soul. 
Tap back for shots in your heart. The Holy Spirit of God will tell you what to do at any point in time. That's all.
I am so sorry I kept you waiting while I'm going to freshen up. I hope you've not been very bored. Oh, no, no, not exactly. The wine has been keeping me company. Oh, fantastic. Actually, I just got off the phone with him. He's almost here. Really? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. By the way, the swelling was a huge success. Oh, my God. You couldn't say that again. It was huge. <laughs> Oops. He's here. Really? What are you doing in my house, Mr. Commissioner? If I could come here, we are not quarreling. I didn't see you at the swearing, so I came to find out why. Well, I was not invited. And even if I was invited, I would not have come. I ask you again, what are you doing in my house? Like I said, we are not quarreling. I, my entire family, our families, and your wife at least, was at the swearing ceremony. But we did not see you. So I came to find out why you were not there. I have no reason to quarrel with you, Mr. Commissioner. You called me to tell me you were coming. I made it categorically clear. I said no. I will not entertain any member of the nativity in my house. I have rejected the devil and everything that is associated with me. Jifako we might belong to a family, but it holds a devil worship as you. Let me ask you this, Mr. Commissioner. How many wives, souls have you sacrificed, wasted? But how has that got to do with this? The sacrifices are essential. So you know your wife to help your business grow, to appease the devil who has received wrong, to help you make more money, and what else? You alone, you have sacrificed over 15 souls to the nativity, to the devil. People you did not know. People who have families, people who have loved ones, who have children, who looked up to them. Souls that were important to God. Let me ask you this. Do you remember the man who was begging for his dear life and we stuffed his mouth with millipedes and buried him alive? Or the pregnant woman who was wailing, crying when we ripped out the fetus from her stomach. And what about the little girl we ate bits and pieces of her dress and buttons while she watched, she screamed, and she died. Oh, Mr. Commissioner, we have sinned. And you stand here, right in my living room, and you tell me that you are not of the devil? You seek to base the souls who rot in hell with your master. Get the hell out of my house! Says move against the wind, but my heart says move where the wind blows. How do I make my heart go where my head goes? Yeah, my head says move against the wind, but my heart says move where the wind blows. How? I have come for two before. 
But when it is in this same case, and because of this, this man is back up, so be it. Because you see that nomination, you are going to accept it, and you are going to become the commissioner, whether you like it or not. As I have no intention to fight, I also have no intention to serve the devil any further. So being the commissioner now means serving the devil? In this state? Reformation, but it seems you have had that wish. 
On the contrary, you people are the ones who need reformation. Members of the Latent. Him who the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. If believing and accepting to worship the one true God means having a death wish, then fine. I don't mind dying a thousand times over. <laughs> uh, Kukalia, my friend, if you only understand what it means to die a thousand deaths in a lifetime, you will not open your mouth and talk like that. Because that is exactly what will happen to you. I gave you an opportunity to become something. But you threw it right back into my face. Now, you will understand what it means for both the physical and the spiritual forces. Come after you. I will kill you. And I will enjoy doing it. And when I am done, I will hand you over to the chief priest. Fine. Do what you must do, Your Excellency. I have gone too far to go back now. I know that it will be an honor to suffer and die for what I believe. Have a nice day, Your Excellency.
the stick, you the stick.
from them all. Lo, I am with you all the way, even to the end of time. Open your eyes.
Him from them all. Lo, I am with you all the way, even to the end of time. Open your eyes. we've been through this over and over again at this point I am tired all right I do not want to shout anymore can you please listen to me please Alex I am listening to you Fine, when we got married, I made you go into this with me, and you accepted. Now it's time to leave, hmm. all right? It is time to leave. Fine, look at me. Look at my eyes. A few hours ago, I was still blind. Look at me, I can see. Yes, you can see. And that is the benevolence of the nativity. They have given you back your sight. Can't you see? And of course not. That is because this new God, Jesus Christ, is bigger. Bigger than the devil. What nonsense are you talking about? Listen, do you know, you have to go back to the nativity. Apologize to them. They will take you back. You know I will not do that. I Why? tried. I cried upon the Lord Jesus Christ and he answered me. He opened my eyes. I oh, will not. Please do wait. Because your life is with the nativity and you can't go anywhere. Can you please not shout? You have not heard the last of my shouting. Because until you wait for this I am going to skip that out. I have done my best to make. What was that? What was that? What was that? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ.
excellency, he survived it. He survived it. Akukalia survived it. Yes. He was not in the car when the bomb exploded. I just got to know now that he made an official report about the incident. It's amazing, excellency. Someone blew up my car this morning. I had to go to the force headquarters to make a formal report. That's serious. Go back and I feel the world is not. Isn't this part of the plot? What plot are you What role are they giving you to play? By the way, I don't understand what you mean. But the list of people who are going to go to the top bubbles and ties of the country, let's have a look at that. You really didn't get here on time. I didn't even project the past required. So your name is not on that list. Subsequently, you are not allowed to import anything into the country. By the way, your 25 containers are with the terrorists at the port have been impounded. Yes. And as we speak, our field agents have instructions to impound everything else you have in your shop and in your warehouse. Those we signed worked very fast. In a few days, I can make you regret the day you came out from the morning school. Now take my candid advice. Return to the nativity. And all these will be forgotten in the flash.
to discuss with you. And we want you to know that as quickly as possible before things get out of hand. Uh, let me get you through something. No, no, your wife is prepared something for us. Good wife. Oh, okay. All right, what happened? Um, it is something to settle down and talk. Okay, I'm settled. Go ahead. Yes. Kalisa. Some people who know Brook met us in the village and told us that they read in the newspaper and they heard on the television that you have been made a commissioner. The entire village celebrated. They were waiting for you to come to me in a truck. We even mock our neighbors who mocked us and said that nothing good will come out of our family from that. And if you went to church for Thanksgiving, now the same people who told us that you have been made a commission still say that you rejected the offer given to you by the government. Oh, yes. Then the entire family members sent me and Abana to come and ask you why did you reject the offer. That is why we're here. Ah, food will soon be ready. Uh, okay. Uh, my uncles, um, thank you very much for your concern. I really appreciate it. A lot of things have been happening around here that you people will not understand. It is deep. See, I rejected the offer because, because I know these people. The people in government, they are my friends. I know what their hands are into, and I do not want to put my hands into the same thing. Whatever they put their hands into, nobody is asking you to put your own hands into that. Uh, but they offered you an honor which nobody in this area has ever received. What stops you from accepting it and keeping your hands away from whatever bad things you are doing? Thank you very much, Uncle. Please help me ask him because I don't understand what, what, what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> like I said before, a lot of things have been happening around here. Oh, we don't know these people. Believe me, you have no idea of what I am talking about. If I accept this position without doing what they want me to do, they will kill me. They will not. I said they will not. Nobody will kill a man whose God has never been allowed to be killed. Nobody. That is the same God that I have decided to hold on to. The same God, the Alpha and the Omega, the same Jesus Christ, the everlasting one I have decided to follow. He has shown me these past few days. He has shown me that he is God, that he is the almighty one and there is nobody like him. The same God that said that the years, the canker worm and the locusts have taken, he will give us back those years a thousandfold. This is, this is the same exact thing that they're complaining about. You know, he keeps reducing everything to the level of this God and Bible. Everything. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you foul spirit. I command you to leave my house. Leave this minute. Me that your husband has been made a commissioner, and I told her that it is time I asked if you and your husband are not thinking of doing anything for us, for me and your younger sister. Since you married him, he has not done anything for us. A lot of people are wondering why he is so rich, yet 
church is in laws and so forth. Did anybody forbid you from doing anything for us? Or is it mere wickedness? Look, Mama. Mama, if I begin to explain these things to you, you will not understand. Mama, Chief's money is of no use to you right now, even if he gives you the whole money in this world. If I tell you that I, I, I am not sick and tired of that marriage, I'm lying. My husband is just, he's cursed. Mama, can you believe that that man has actually rejected the commissionership given to him by the governor? Uh -uh. Sister, why? I don't know. When you see him, you ask him yourself. Hmm. Anyway, Mama, the thing is that me, I have my own plans. I have already decided on what I have to do. Eh? And once I get on with my plan, I will take care of everything that needs to be taken care of. So don't worry. Once everything is settled, you will be well taken care of, I can assure you. Oh. All I know is that I have tried. Even though your father left us when we were young, I managed to train you. The day your husband and his people walked in here to ask for your hand in marriage, he promised us so many things. But he has not fulfilled any of those promises. We are still waiting. You should not allow people to laugh at us. And at Simo, Mama, it's okay, it's okay, no problem. Like I said, eh? I will take care of you when that time comes. Huh? Eh? Meanwhile, I, I have to worry about you. You know, my husband actually has some issues with his mother's colleagues. So I need to get to him. You know, if I put to the doctor that you wanted to see me, just pray that I will not have come. The timing is not right. But it's okay. I mean, it's okay. Do you insist on going this way? Because I have to.
Hassan, your boys came to my place and beat me up. I did not argue, I followed them. We came down here, they dumped me in this room. I have been seated here, locked up in this place for God knows how long. Nobody has told me anything. For God's sake, Hassan, this is me. Give me some credit, give me some respect. What am I doing here? What is my crime? Next money laundry, excuse me. Money laundry. Me, Alex, money laundry. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I can't believe this. <laughs> nice try. sum of 2.5 billion was paid into your account. And the bank manager, like every other conscientious banker, reported the lodgement. The source of the money is not traceable. The source up till now is not traceable. Then you detain me for a lodgement I know nothing about. That is all we need you to explain. What do you want me to explain? I've told you. Hassan, are you deaf? I don't know what this whole thing is all about. Why would 2.5 billion appear in your account from nowhere? And you are not willing to explain it. Listen, let me tell you. This is not the very first time that has happened. Four days ago, another 200 million was credited into your account. This is ridiculous, Hassan. This is total, total rubbish. I have told you I don't know anything about this. For God's sake, I have phones. My account numbers are linked to my phone. If I get any payment, I get an alert. What are you talking about? That can be true, Alex. I confirm from the manager that the system of the alert is automatic. So definitely, when money is paid into your account, you must have to receive the alert automatically. Listen, look at me. You and I know that this is total rubbish. Absolute rubbish. You know me. In my whole life, I have never laundered money. I've never touched any fund that does not belong to me. You know that this is all part of the grand plan to destroy me, to crush me. All right, fine. Let's assume you don't know. I'll bring you up to speed. My car was blown up. I was about to enter the car. It was blown to pieces. And then my goods were seized. Then I was told I could not import anything into this country anymore, which means my business has been tripled. And now you sit here and tell me that I loaned that money. Tell me, how? Answer me, yes, sir. How? The source of the money. God help me. God help me. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But God, God in heaven, God Almighty, will always deliver the righteous. Always. Hassan, do what you must do. Peter. He will be reminded in our cast. Wherever they took our brother, his day before yesterday. And the wife doesn't want to do anything. Up to now. Up to now, then. I don't know what is happening. I don't know. If you ask her, she will say, I don't know. What she does is driving out. 
community, walking around everywhere without telling us the condition of our brother. Okay. Go and call her for me. I want to talk to her. A woman whose husband has such a big problem doesn't want to show concern. She has gone out, as usual. Well, we must do something about this. Uh, I don't think it is time for us to do anything yet. Why? Let us wait till tomorrow morning. If our brother doesn't come back, then we will force her to tell us where our brother is. Makanandi Bosi. Now you wait for Mbaraka. Our dad is Kaidi. Our dad is Kamo. Okalapu. Igbo Okalapu is where they are. Igbo has for the Garanulu. We don't have any Igbo here. Ha. What do you want? My lord, my request is heavy. I don't know how to say it. If you do not ask, you cannot receive. I know that my husband has pulled out of the nativity. That isn't my choice. I know that he rejected the position the governor so magnanimously gave to him as the commissioner of the state. That also wasn't my choice. I wish to say here that I spoke against all those decisions. I know the right path. I know that following you is the right path. And I have decided that I will, I'm going to follow you till the day I die. My lord, I know I'm just a woman. But I've come to her. May I replace my husband with the nativity and take over all that he has done to them? Woman, do you know what you ask? Do you understand what you seek? The nativity is not a place where married women are allowed into. But my lord, every man in the nativity has his wife standing by him. And not to stand in the place of ritual and sacrifice. Not to stand in the place of the husband, but beside the husband, because the woman is not the head, but the husband. But when a man has abandoned his responsibilities, the woman bears them. If my husband has decided to go after some strange goods, I should not be punished for it. I should be allowed to make my own choices. Just like now, I have chosen to follow you. Are we sure 
that your husband has not sent you back to spy out that which we do in the Nativity. My husband was a senior member of the Nativity. And he knows all the intimate secrets already. What else am I going to tell him? How will I even stand by a man who is using his two hands to call upon death on himself? I know that the Nativity has the power to descend and crush on any mortal. She is the one who will bring my son into the world. She is the divine mind whose body I will use to press the talent. servant of our great master. I go where I please, how I please, and when I please. Our Lord and Master, Because on that day, he who would save the world, the son of Lucifer, Baphomet, our Lord and Savior, will be brought into this world. Lucifer has chosen your womb to carry that seed. This is why he has been prompting you to join the nativity. Your reward will be beyond the imagination of any man living in this world. Even the glory he has put in place for his worthy servants will bear in comparison to what he will give you. But this eternal glory is not without a price. The salubrious channel that will succor 
the shaft of this great God is not for the use of a mortal man. Be warned. Be warned. Be warned. Rise up and leave this place. I've opened the gates and blinded the guards. No one will stop you as you leave.
Alice, this is the governor. Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning. So what do I owe the honor? To the fact that you are a very beautiful woman. And to the fact that I always want you around me. Are you still in bed? Yes, I am in bed, Your Excellency. It was... Oh, it was a friend tonight. Ah, I can imagine. I wish I was there. That would have been great. Maybe we can still arrange for another day. Oh, well, your wish is my command. <laughs> okay, then. I want to see you in my office this morning. You have been nominated to take over the position your husband rejected. Oh my god, seriously! The swearing in ceremony will be coming right by 11 a.m. this morning. And you will resume your duties immediately. This is. this is great news. Thank you. I mean, this is what we all have been praying for. The chief priest told me you have sworn your allegiance to the nativity. Stay away from Akokalia. I, I will, definitely. Whatever has been taken away from him will be returned back to you. He has been marked for destruction. Anybody who is with him when the destruction comes will also be destroyed. None stands against the family of the Lucifer and still lives. Your official quarters have been prepared and you are expected to move into it immediately. See you at the swearing in ceremony. Thank you, Your Excellency. This is such a wonderful news. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Ah, ah this is it. <laughs> this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Alice, it is now time for you to enjoy your life. Mm. Commissioner for Trade and Industries. <laughs> Let me see how that begins. I am not the same man. You need to hear me out. Please. I know, I, I, I understand this is so heavy for me, but you need to hear me out, please. Please. And you asked me what I was going to make my money. You were right. I was into ritual killings, senseless killings, blood money, bloodshed. I was worshipping the devil. 
And then, the day you left, the Holy Spirit visited me and it told me to leave the cult. It was when my boys accidentally kidnapped your daughter that I said to myself, enough is enough. So, Akukalia, it was you that kidnapped my daughter. My own daughter. Please, please, I beg you. I, I know how you feel. I know how hard it is for you to understand me right now. But please believe me, I am a changed man. You know me. I'm a man of my word. I give you my word. My word is my bond. I am changed right now. Please, I am sorry. And yes, I sent my boys to get me a young woman. It could have been anyone else. It could have been any other girl. I thank God that things happened the way they did. Maybe God wanted to use your daughter to get me to where I am today. Please forgive me. Madam, please. Please forgive me. His Excellency, the executive governor of the state is also part of the court. Yes. And that was also why I rejected the position of the commission of the respondent. He has been trying to persuade me to come back to the court. And I vehemently refused. And they told me that I will suffer and suffer. The truth is, at this point, I, I am yet to fully comprehend what is happening to me. But one thing I know for sure is that I have been called by God. I have been instructed by God Almighty, the one who created the earth. He has called me, and he is the one who is leading me. And as he leadeth, O oh Lord, I will follow. I will follow. As I speak to you, I do not have a home anymore. They have taken my house, also my wife.
Congratulations. I watched you in TV. Yeah. I want five pairs of skirt suits. If this one is not enough, let me know. I'll get some more to you. I want them delivered to my house. No, I don't want to. I moved into the country. She has trapped with several other complicated matters. And, and she's a life support for an incident about 800,000 for this equipment. So, why are you calling me? Sister, we need to hear quickly now. We need to do something. How's my mom and die you?
Belinda, I sent messages to you the other time that I needed to buy most of those stuff you imported from Italy. But you never got back to me. I hate to be kept waiting. No, listen, woman, I don't have the time. I'm a busy person. So whatever it is you have to say, say it here. I'm sorry. But those ones I sent you were samples. I am desperately in need of cash. And I was hoping you were going to give me some cash. No, 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 don't look at me like that. See, it's money that will pay back immediately my, my, my goods are cleared because people are waiting to clear the stores, you know. And so your little mind tells you that now I, Alice, will now share clothes with commoners or that my heart and money is for you to climb your Greek car that you import so that those lousy idiots who run around town patronizing you would buy, right? As if I'm a piece of, of rack. Why? What do you expect? She has become a commissioner. I am still a trader, a common trader. <laughs> Spare me. Was it not the same place she, she used to come to borrow clothes a few years ago? So what, what, what are we talking about? My sister, people could forget where they come from. So? That is why my mouth is the hanging open. Mm have -hmm. you not seen this sudden transformation? Mm -hmm. What was her husband a, 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 a few years ago? He used to be an ordinary market trader. All of a sudden, he rose to become one of the richest men in the city. That the government even considered giving him an appointment as a commissioner, which he rejected though. What? And they now transferred it to his wife. An ordinary housewife. Are they the only couple in this city? What are we talking about? There's something strange happening. They are involved in something, and we are going to find out. Ah, Blinda. What is her, Blinda? See, I'm telling you the fact. It's a fact. You are not just seeing it. It's so glaring. You are not seeing it. Ah, Blinda. They are involved in something. Something, and we are going to find out what it is. Blinda, mm -hmm. don't say something that will put you to trouble. Baby, please. please. I will say it. There's something happening. They're involved in something. Something. Don't say something that will put you into trouble. I'm begging you. You are the only one that I'm oh. Unless you will go out to go and say it. I have said it. You are my friend. I will tell you. This is what is happening. There's something strange happening. And we must see the end of it. The other day, I voiced my concern about Chief Mbadewe Akokalia. I was told. That is beloved of Lucifer. So what concerns to me? Why can't we move him away? Why is he walking a free man? Even after Tundi here, arrested and locked him up. He walked out of detention as if there was no bars. 
and he seemingly looks as if he's disappeared from the face of the earth. Really, my CP? I am more baffled than you are. My boys are not only consensus fellows. But up to now, none of them has agreed that he had a hand in springing him out of detention. I've also had every one of them on duty that very night, dismissed from service, locked away, and also tortured. And yet, all my efforts to find out the cause of his surprise disappearance proved abortive. I don't just know. That's exactly where my worry lies. If we cannot locate him physically, why can't the chief priest with all his powers locate him, find him and destroy him? Exactly. My boys planted a bomb in his car, but he was not there when it went off. Was the chief priest attempted to strike him with stroke, but he resisted it strongly. This same man, whom we seize all his assets and properties, walked out of detention. Disappeared from under our noses as if we were mere flies that can only buzz and not bite. I think something must be behind me, and this baffles me a great deal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. James, I do not doubt the powers of the chief priest. No, 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 no. But I think Chief Alex Mbadiwe has discovered another power with which he is defying the nativity. That is my thinking. You are right. This is 15,000 naira. The only money I have in the house. No other money. Eh? Go back to the hospital. At least let them start some treatment. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you. <sighs> I wonder why Alice has not done anything up till now. Eh? Uncle, I don't know what is happening. Seriously. When we got to the hospital yesterday, I called her and told her what the doctor said. And she told me that she's very busy and that her job is very important. <laughs> we can not believe that she's there. She's not even bothered to go. Hey, that's strange. That does not sound like Alice at all. I wonder what kind of job is more important than somebody's mother. Uncle, somebody's mother. Anyway, wipe your tears. The most important thing is to let the doctor start some treatment. Let me run out to look for more money. Eh? Go back to the hospital. Uh, where will you get money now? In, in this village, yeah, nobody has money. Eh? I know God has his ways. He must surely help us. Okay, I pray. Yeah. Oh, maybe when I finish from the hospital, I'll go to our house and see her. I assume she doesn't understand the gravity of the situation. Two hundred thousand naira is very small for commissioner. Mm -hmm. What kind of woman is that? Eh? My sister, Papa has a way of corrupting people like this. Hi! Yes! Okay, now that you have made her commission, is it not the right time for her to help her people? Eh? Is it not the country we are living in? Do you now see how people are? At least I have forgotten that a few years ago, she and my husband couldn't even afford to be decent for TV. In our one, the other day, I was asking. I heard some people say that she went behind her husband to take his position. And when the man found out, he went back his things and left her. Hey, my sister. Anyway, I'm not surprised. I've heard so many things about her. I don't even know anyone to, to, to believe anymore. I even heard that she's in the court. Ah, yes. People. Now, tell me, what on earth will make a woman to be in a court? <laughs> what? My sister. Nowadays, everything is possible.
impetus. Save the money that I've given you and go back home. You're not going to get any more money from me. Huh? I've given you 5,000 naira now. Why can't you take that one and go? Oh, sister. Sister, you're a commissioner now. Waiting for mama's treatment shouldn't be difficult for you to raise. No, it can't be difficult. Because I am Central Bank. Eh? Or oh, maybe when you walked into this compound, you saw that I planted money. Plant the money now. Come and plant the money. Oh, sister. Nonsense. How much will you cost to treat your mother? Sister, your own mother. How did you become this heartless? Just take the money and give it and go home. Oh, sister, you want me to go home and watch mama as she dies slowly in the hospital. Sister, you won't give me. Sister, mama is dying. Take just take the money and just go home. Go back to the village. Sister, I want you to go home. That is cover from me for mama's treatment. Sister, I'm not in the position you're fighting for mental. Always obey the rules. If you do, the earth will be yours. The money that the nativity gives you is not for any other but for you alone. You are forbidden to spend it on another. First in the morning, I'll go to, to the town and see her. If she has any time, then somebody she will tell me. Because she cannot be in the position she is and allow the family to suffer this way. Money is not everything. Can she ask the fellow commission for help to help her to arrange the treatment for the mother? That's why I go there and waited some people to the position they are. You didn't care to visit her at the hospital or to pay money for her treatment. If we are sister, you run up and down looking for money. Do you know how much I gave her? You are a very wicked woman being and heartless. You disgrace to the family. Okay, enough. Enough. You do not come to my house and insult me. The money you all are talking about, do you know how I made it? The position I occupied today. Does any of you know how it came about? If I was some, some poor rat running around the streets, would anybody come to me for help? You ain't in the dead now, what are you talking about? Yeah? Come on! Look at my 
Sentiments are of no consequence to our master. We've been sent into this world to do a job, and that job requires that we kill our feelings and close our eyes to the emotions that move your another man. Please adjust. How do I justify that? My mother, my own blood mother, is dying in the hospital. And I cannot do anything to help. It's not as if I do not have the resources. Those who are not initiates should not share from that which the initiates enjoy. Your money. It's not for those who do not recognize our master as the ruler of the world. Everybody in the world should believe in Lucifer. And even if it should take all of them dying to believe, so be it. Some penalty with the one the nativity gives you a lifetime and an eternity of poverty. And another reminder your sexual favors are reserved only for me and our master when he comes. If you defy the temple of the Holy One, instant we and destruction will follow you and the one you have expended those favors on. Be warned. Be warned. To mean anything to you. I don't want to tell you that Mama has just died. No worry, we'll no longer bother you.
Questions that bring the power of our master to question. Lucifer has asked me to tell you this. Let not your hearts be troubled any longer. Just watch and see what happens to Chief Mbadiwe because his days of grace are over. He will suffer so much that he will beg to be readmitted. But our Lord and Master will not listen to him. And finally, he will be destroyed. We worship. We worship. We worship. And finally, sons of Lucifer. Our friend and member here, Lady Alice, has just lost her mother. The burial is being arranged in the village. And I want us to show faith with her by burying this woman in the way only members of this family know how. I also want us to give her as much as we can. We will use this burial to announce our takeover of the world. And I will give her the sum of 20 million naira. That's my chief priest. I don't think that any member of the nativity here should be given anything less than 10 million naira. Of course, you will all agree with me that Alice here is a special woman. I myself will give her the sum of 20 million dollars. I was 
I called you back because our Lord and Master has asked for an emergency sacrifice. For the new thing he's going to do in this land in the next four days. What that thing is, I'm not at liberty to disclose to you yet. But I had a meeting with him in heaven last night and he said he's going to do a new thing and it shall spring forth, and with our eyes we shall see and behold it. And he has asked that we make a sacrifice of a hundred souls on the night he shall visit us. So I want us to prepare for his visitation and get the sacrifice ready. Each and Every one of you shall provide four souls. A hundred people missing? It's too much now. How do I explain to the IG that a hundred people got missing under my watch? How? Commissioner. Have you forgotten the last plane crash? What do you think that was for? We are talking about souls here. People. Lives. This is extortionate. Our mother is too much for our God. But we have done enough sacrifice for our God. There are two boys and two girls, all virgins, huh? Yeah. After all, that is what my husband used to pay you guys. Madam, your husband never sacrificed any man. What we brought for him were always small girls. Those were easier to find. Besides, you're a commissioner. Getting the money can never be a problem. Okay, fine. It's okay. I'll pay. But just make sure you deliver on Friday night. I don't want any disappointments. Um, it's all right. Make the money available and you have them. Just so pick up the money tomorrow evening, but make sure you make the drop on Friday night. Don't you ever mention
Your Excellency. Good morning. Good morning, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I know you will be wondering why I came. You are the most beautiful woman in this government house. And seeing you in the morning like this sure makes a man's day. Your Excellency, you, you flatter me. Forget this, Your Excellency thing. Just call me Johnson. Mm. Johnson. You know, I've always liked you. No, I mean wanted you. That's the right word. There's so much we can do together. I could make you stupendously wealthy. You should be in my arms every night, you know. Come on. Your Excellency, you are very direct. We are no teenagers. We say what we want and we get over with it. Alice, I want you. And I am willing to trade something for it. <laughs> and what is that? A post of the deputy governor. And also, you retain your position as the Commissioner for Trade and Industries. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds pretty interesting. <laughs> it will be more interesting. Warm my bed tonight. You will be a hundred million naira richer. And also, you will be the chair to the Ecological Fund Board. How about that? Now you're talking. Good. Oh. Uh, there's a problem. What problem? The chief priest. What's the problem with the chief priest? He called me the divine whore. He visits me every night. Gosh. I have not had 10 seconds of sleep in 10 days. Damn, man. I never knew that man could have such staying power. What's the event is that he said that um, the day that any other man touches me will be the day that the man and I will die. <laughs> the old rogue, he's at his tricks again. Oh yes, I admit that he has his own past. But that divine whole thing is what he uses to reserve the women for himself alone. Nothing will happen to you. Absolutely nothing. I have slept with four of the so-called divine whores. And look at me. Nothing has happened to me. Listen, my only problem is with Umadi, your husband. Nobody has been able to track him down. I haven't been able to. The chief priest hasn't been able to. So what about his powers? By the way, he's there, freely walking about the street. But the chief priest can't even get him. So, why? I wonder too. Leave the chief priest to me. Enjoy yourself, okay? I mean, here I am the executive governor of the state. I am on course and nothing will stop me. Very soon, I will leave the court. What else do I need them for? I'm good to go. Yes. So, you know what you do? See me at the governor's lodge around 10 p.m. Then we can conclude.
This is what this whole thing is all about. These people who have been kidnapped, they need them for a sacrifice, a ritual to birth the son of Lucifer. The challenge here is this. The people who are behind this, members of the cult, they do not know and understand fully what they are into. They, they, they feel they will get money. They believe the devil will give them money. But for Lucifer, and his servant, the chief priest, he have another agenda, which is to birth the son of Lucifer into this world. Just as the son of God, Jesus Christ, was born into the world through the agency of a woman, a virgin. In that same vein, the son of Lucifer will be born into this world through the agency of a defiled, corrupt woman. And that woman is Alice. My wife. Oh yes, they have chosen my wife. And just as the innocents were killed at his birth, these kidnapped souls will be murdered in order to bring forth the one who will unleash untold mayhem and suffering, intense suffering on humanity. But what I still do not understand is why Satan has chosen this quiet town? Why? But who knows why God chose Jerusalem out of all the cities of the world? And then again, he has chosen me. He has chosen me to stop this end. I do not know why. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Do you know half of what you are saying? Only God knows all of it. But that which has been revealed is for us. And that which is not is for God. All we need to do is stand in the gap and stop this from happening. How? By going on our knees in prayer. 
I have called upon the leaders of the Christian Association to gather. We will stop the intense prayers this night. Saturday night is only two days away. Well, the good Lord who has called you to do this will surely strengthen you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hey, this is very scary. Yes, my dear. Is that why you brought the victim? Well, my dear, sometimes physical food is not enough. Our strength comes from the spirit. And that strength doesn't come from that which goes inside us, but that which comes out from us. Okay then, can we start the prayers now? Please. In Jesus' name we pray. In, Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, we come upon your holy name, your good name today. Father, I know that you are here because you said that when two or three are gathered in your name, you are always here. I called you out as a divine call. It is time I reiterated the demand that goes with that position. You've been honored by our master, Lucifer. Saturday will be the twelfth day of the twelfth month of this year. On that day, our Lord and Master Lucifer will bring forth his son into the world. On that day, my job as his servant here on the face of the earth will be done, and I will go home. You have been chosen to bear that child. It is through your channel that the divine child will be born into this world to rule the world for his father. You will be Lucifer's wife. He will pregnant you with his seed. And that seed will also be born on that same night. You need to be prepared. And we have to start the preparation now. This is why your sacrifice is greater than that of others.
Lucifer, son of the morning. We have done all you expected us to do. And now we have come out in the April to await your coming. Here we unveil your receptacle. Come down in your glory and feel her with that which you want to bring into the world. We, your servants, await the holy population. Enemies, why are you here, Chief Priest? You claim to be all knowing, and you claim that your master is all powerful. How come you don't know the things that are happening around you? Your divine power was defiled, and she was defiled by him. It's a lie. Lucifer is all-knowing, and he would have revealed that to me if it were true. Accept his own people. Who 
Even your friend, he who trusts in the Lord, is like your Zion. Who can be that in the and those of you who are still standing with the chief priest, this is your last chance. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and you will be saved. Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ, you said in your scripture that at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that you are the only Lord and Master and Savior. Father, you are the same today, yesterday, and forever. Father, you said in John chapter 10, verse 10, that the thief cometh to steal, kill, and destroy, but the Son of Man cometh to give us life, and that we may have that life more abundantly. Father, Father, look at me. You opened my eyes, Father. You set me free from captivity. You opened my eyes. You restored my sight, Father Lord, and you called upon me. You said, it is time for you to work for me. 